the genius of master mother being a simla boy i was proud of belonging to the town where master mother the legend lived legends are never critically examined one lives in the glory of the legend later i was introduced to the legend by my friend satish chopra who provided the major inputs for the book swang and the city pulse institute of film and television gave shape to the book the genius of master mother maya e naz fankar azim gulokar master madan न रह रह कर हमें तरसाइए आइए आ जाइए आ जाइए फिर वही दानिस तट होकर खाइए फिर मेरी आगोश में गिर जाइए मेरी दुनिया मुंतजिर है आपकी अपनी दुनिया छोड़कर आ जाइए ये हवा सागर ये हल्की चांदनी जी में आता है यहीं मर जाइए do not go away to make me pine away come do come let us together sway Umar Khayyam in couplet creates an atmosphere and what a beauty the breeze the cup of wine is soft moonlight the heart desires the moment to wither away meri duniya muntazir hai aapki it's a quintessential ghazal in the tradition of a sufi ghazal it is about love it is the passionate pursuance of love it is the indifference of the beloved towards the lover 
it is the final ecstatic annihilation another of his two ghazals Look at me in wonder the world of fidelity of love what have you done to me in my passion for you my love Herat It is a wonder that this has been sung by a boy of only 8 years old a boy who became a maestro at the tender age of 8 only other maestro who cut a disc at the age of 8 was great singer of kirana gharana faroz distur It's from film Lale Yaman of 1933. Hairas se tak raha hai jahan e wafa mujhe tumne bana diya hai mohabbat mein kya mujhe har manzil e hayat se gum kar gaya mujhe har manzil e hayat se gum kar gaya mujhe mud mud ke raah mein wo tera dekhna mujhe कैफ़े खुदी ने मौज को कश्ती बना दिया होश खुदा है अब न गमे ना खुदा मुझे साकी बने हुए हैं वो सागर शब विसाल इस वक्त कोई मेरी कसम देखता मुझे
Such was the universal acclaim of the Ghazal that the poet laureate Maithili Sharan Gupt made a special mention of Madan's musical acumen in his prestigious journal Pasha Bharati. These two Ghazals, Yu na reh reh kar hame tar saye and herat se tak raha hai jahane wafa mujhe became part of HMV's collection of the album Ghazal Ka Safar. Hira Lal was on tabla and Master Madan's elder brother, Master Mohan, was on violin. Pandit Amarnath used his own harmonium. Ghazal ek adabi sinf zarur hai, lekin wo musiqi ki bhi ek aisi sinf hai, jisne musiqi ke aasman ko apni jamaliyati aur rohani chamak aur ramak se roshan kiya. اس کے ردیف اور قافیے جب گلوکار کے سروں میں سج کر محفل میں بکھرتے ہیں تو سننے والے سر دھنتے ہیں اور جب یہ گلوکار ماسٹر مدن جیسے مایائے ناز گلوکار ہوں جن کے گلے سے غزل بہتی ہے تو موسیقی کا شہپارہ بن جاتی ہے اور جب وہ غزل ساغر نظامی کی ہو تو وہ اپنی رومانیت کی سربلندیوں کو چھو لیتی ہے the child prodigy. He started singing at the tender age of three and quickly became a rage all over India. These two ghazals have been penned by Sagar Nizami, a poet of delicate romance. The ghazals so delicate and beautiful, almost like a flower touch me not. Lajvanti. A great poet, immortalized not only by his work, but by the rendition of the two available ghazals sung by Master Madan. These two ghazals, penned by Sagar Nizami, still retain their magical appeal even after 80 years since their first recording in 1935. Sagar Nizami, who was born in the world of the world, was born in یہ رومانی غزلیں اپنی مثال آپ ہیں ہز فرسٹ پرفارمنس واز ایٹ دھرم پور ان ہماچل پردیش ان دا سینیٹوریم ہی سینگ وندن ہے شاردا نمن کروں ان راگ مشر کافی اٹ از رپورٹیڈ دیٹ دی آڈینس واز اسپیل باؤنڈ اینڈ آن دیر انسٹنس ہی سینگ ٹو مور کمپوزیشنس ان ڈفرینٹ راگاز He also sang in the most classic of classical styles of Hindustani classical music, that is Dhrupad. Not only did he receive a rapturous applause, but the eminent classical singers present there pronounced that the child was divinely gifted. The news spread like wildfire all over the country, and there was unprecedented media coverage. Even the Hindu of Madras, present-day Chennai, carried a photograph of Master Madan, a lad from up north in Shimla. It is said that he was paid Rs. 80 for a local performance and Rs. 250 for an outstation concert during the 1930s, which was considered a very large amount. Master Madan had his early schooling at Sanatan Dharm School at Simla, which was five minutes' walk from his residence at New Batel Building in Lower Bazar, Shimla. It has been the family dwelling since the last 80 years. He was a bright student, but could not continue with his studies due to his preoccupation with music. An introvert, he did not socialize much or participate in sports and other activities. He dressed elegantly in princely style, complete with achkan, bright with gold chains and a row of medals and with an ornament studded in his shining turban. A childhood friend of the master, Jogendra Singh Meath of Simla, remembers him being impeccably dressed in the Ranjewali turban. 
However, he many a times styled himself with the turban with an extra circular fold on one of the ear so typical of the musicians of Gwalior Gharana like Shankar Rao and Krishan Rao. Master Madan, though a Punjabi, did not sing in the style of Patiala. He was quite near to the Gwalior style of singing. Sant Kaleramwale Baba Nanda Singh was his guru in music. Guru divinity rubbed off on him. In one of the gatherings at the Sant's place, Master Madan sang Rag Jaunpuri with such great concentration that people present there claimed to have seen the ragini herself dressed in beautiful garb and later when he sang rag bhairavi john puri disappeared to make way for the stately and sada sohagan ever blessed bhairavi in the form of a beautiful damsel this incident was reported in the press with great exuberance as an aside it is said that he predicted his early death born on december 26 1927 at village khane khane a village named after abdul rahim khane khana a poet who was one of the navratnas of akbar's court rahiman dhaga prem ko मत तोड़ो चटकाए रहीमन धागा प्रेम को मत तोड़ो चटकाए टूटे से फिर ना मिले मिले गांठ पड़ जाए मास्टर मदन ग्रू अप इन एन ऑर्थोडॉक्स सिख फैमिली लिसन टू द शब्द ऑफ गुरु तेग बहादुर चेतना है तो चेतले compare the didactic declamatory tone of the same shabad and the meditative reflective rendering in the classical style of master madan chetna hai to chetle chetna hai to chetle chetna hai ना हाथ तो चेतना 
His father, Sardar Amar Singh, worked in the government with the education department and his mother, Puran Devi, was a very religious person. He died young in the year 1942. Music was in his family. He learnt from his elder brother, Master Mohan, who used to teach violin in Shimla and Chandigarh. It is of interest to note that the plaque outside the house of his elder brother still has a mention, Master Mohan, brother of Master Madan. Initially, Master Madan accompanied his elder brothers in concerts. Both sang in the famous Harvalab music festival at Devi Talab in Jalandhar city and then later in Shimla. The Shabads he sang are the inspiration from his mother. His elder sister Shanti Devi had revealed that he always carried a portrait of Guru Nanak, a gutka which is an abridged Granth Sahib wrapped in silk and also a rosary wherever he went. Born in a religious family, he rendered devotional songs with great passion. 
हैरत अमेजमेंट बिकम्स डिवाइन वंडर विस्मय ऑफ अद्भुत रस वेन ई सिंग्स द शब्द ऑफ गुरु तेग बहादुर एंड द भजन्स भजन बेस्ड ऑन खमाज राग इज ऑलमोस्ट अ ठुमरी स्टाइल इज अनमिस्टेकबली दैट ऑफ द बाइज एंड ऑफ द थुमरी अंग the alap of these bhajans are almost that of a thumri in thumri a elaboration of the lyric and words are done through tonal verbal modulation then through technicalities and embellishments of scalar foundation of khayal notice the lilt of thumri in listen to the pokar the cry of longing typical of bhajan inspired and encouraged by sant clara wale baba nand singh a famous guru in punjab later on he had his training from eminent musicians pandit amarnath 
who composed music for film Mirza Sahiba, in which Noor Jaha sang some popular songs. He was the elder brother of Husnalal Bhagat Ram, the well-known composer of Bollywood. Later, he learned from Gosai Bhagwad Kishore. <laughs> Pandit Amarnath composed the music of the two famous ghazals of Master Madan. It is recorded that K.L. Segal, working for Remington Rand Typewriter Company at Simla, would visit Master Mohan's place in Simla. During Segal's visit, the Butel building would resonate with long music sessions past midnight of Segal, Master Mohan, and Master Madan. Segal was older to Mohan by nearly nine years and older to Madan by 22 years. It is said that Segal had a lot of affection for the baby Madan. Shanti Devi, Master Madan's sister, has mentioned an unforgettable train journey from Kalka to Shimla with Segal, Mohan and Madan. They had kept singing all the way, much to the amusement of the fellow passengers. Later, after Madan had joined New Theatre's Calcutta, he always looked after Master Mohan and Master Madan whenever they visited Calcutta. Notice the style of Segal in ghazal singing, having similarities with that of Master Madan. Yeah. 
इतना बता दे the true style of ghazal singing importance of each word and phrase bringing out the connotation and the romance traditional style of singing when there is no percussion in the first line of the sheer the couplet it has the essential elements of dadra his punjabi composition has both the folk flavor and the classical finesse
तुर दे ओ वांग कबूतर लगो ओ दाजो पतला कूतर Fourteen years and five months. Too short a period for anyone to blossom. After the Calcutta concert, he fell ill, never to recover. He sang Biniti Suno Mori Avadapur Ke Basia for one and a half hours with such captivating beauty that the public refused to go home. And at the end of the concert, accompanied him to the guest house. One patron respectfully offered rupees 500, a princely sum in those days, and also nine gold medals were announced by various patrons. He regaled the audiences in all the major cities of the country. An award was instituted in his memory, Master Madan Award at the All India Sugam Sangeet Contest. A film producer wanted to cast him as Sant Kabir in a movie. However, he obliged the producer by singing only a bhajan for the film. Master Madan has left eight recorded songs and research for another three is still on. Did he die? The death mystery sways between envy and jealousy of the peers and courtesans to the overexposure of the young, delicate boy prompted by the greed of the family. The immortal voice died in Simla on the 5th of June, 1942, several months short of his 15th birthday. He was cremated wearing all his medals there were many rumours as to the cause of death. One rumour went that one time he was performing in Ambala and the local singing girls had invited him to their kota and doctored his pan. Another said that at the radio station in Delhi he was given mercury in his drink by a jealous performer. Yet another rumour was that in Calcutta after a sensational concert at which he sang Biniti Suno Meri Avadhpur Ke Basia, a Thumri in Rag Bageshwari, someone gave him a slow-acting poison in his drink. It was re- noticed in retrospect that he never recovered his voice after that performance. He died on the 5th of June, 1942, suffering a great deal of pain. On his death, Shimla closed down and a huge gathering accompanied him on his last journey. Death, 
be not be proud though some have called thee mighty and dreadful for thou art not so one short sleep we wake eternally and death shall be no more death thou shall die death thou shall die herat it is a wonder that this has been sung by a boy of only 8 years old बने हु 